Okay guys, so I did a thing. Um, first, uh, I had started doing this video and um, yeah, I looked type crazy. So I went ahead and I beat my face um, because I don't like looking all cray cray, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, yeah, I did a thing. First, let me apologize for how long it takes for me to put out videos, but please understand, if you don't watch these videos, I cannot get my watch hours up, and until I do, this YouTube thing is just a thing. It does not pay any bills for me, so I still have a job whilst I'm still trying to renovate this rig. Um, so it takes me a little bit longer to do videos, get them edited, do all the all of that stuff. You know what I mean? So here's some footage of my bedroom when I first bought it and there's no storage under that bed, believe it or not. I don't know how to say this enough. Mm, I always feel like I'm begging, but I'm begging. Uh, please watch the whole video in its entirety or at least listen to it, let it play all the way through. That way it can get out to other people. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up, hit that like button for me because that's another thing that the algorithm would pick up on. And then that way it gets out to more people. And don't forget to share. Um, you know, this cute little black chick, she over there building her tiny home and doing a damp. Y'all like my tattoos looking good. Anyway, all right, I digress. Um, if you stick around, I do have some some surprises uh, at the end. There are some things that are almost done, um, but obviously, you know, with materials and things being on back order, I'm still waiting on certain things. So I woke up this morning and I had just about had it with the bed. Um, in most RVs, you can lift the bed up so that there's storage underneath and you can utilize that storage. Mine was screwed down. Okay, my space was just wasted real estate and in a home that's like just a little over 400 square feet, you need to utilize every single portion of this room and that was just a huge eyesore and it did nothing for me. I spent whatever, six hours sleeping there and then I was using the rest of my rig. So I want to actually change the whole orientation of my bedroom. So um, yeah. I woke up this morning and I was like, I have just about had it. And I just started ripping shit out. I went slow. I took my time because I wasn't sure how everything was, you know, done. Like when I bought the rig, the guy told me that there was some sort of operational mechanism underneath, which in my head, I was like, how, why? It made no sense because all of my slider mechanism is outside underneath the rig. Anyway, I guess he just thought I was a dumb girl and I was gonna fall for whatever, but, at any rate, <laughs> he's a nice guy, no offense. But um, yeah, I guess he just didn't know um, who he was dealing with, Miss MacGyver. And I will rip shit out. So I took my time, I went slowly, I actually cut this part so that way I could separate the slider from the rest of the room, which was a smart thing to do. This is not easy. It's it seems like, you know, oh, she's just, you know, going with the flow, but I've had so many issues in between. I've had things that didn't fit. I've had the wrong um, things show up. I've had where I ordered less than what I needed or more than what I needed, or, you know, the rain destroyed something. Like, I've had floods. I've had a lot of hiccups, but you know what? I just keep on going. I go with the flow. Trust me, my body aches and I just want to stop living in a construction zone so then that way I can actually make these videos for you and show you guys, you know, what's going on and how I did things and, and you know, all of that stuff. But 
Um, I also want to do my Q&A, so don't forget to drop your questions for me. So, um, well, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my grits. While I'm in designer mode, because now everything has changed, the whole game has changed. Since I have this floor base here, I'm taking out the carpet, I gotta take out this little dresser. So I'm kind of just like in design mode. Um, that's vegan, by the way. Plant-based sausage. You know me. I want to save the world. I want to save all the animals. You know. I mean, Animals that eat animals, that's fine. That's, that's what they have to do. But we have a choice. Anyway, um, back to the room. So, um, yeah. I don't know why I always say so. Oh. Anyway, this toast is good, too. Okay. Okay. I gotta stop striving for perfection and just put the damn videos out because y'all want to see what's going on. So this is what goes on. Right. I have to stop and really think about everything and figure, since I'm taking a pause, might as well eat. Because those of you who know me know that I'll work all day and forget to eat, which is not healthy. So, I'm thinking, pausing, talking to you, and eating. So, I'm just doing the damn thing. So, there's the frame. And wood is expensive, so I will be saving this so I can repurpose it for something else. In the meantime, in between time, I'll be tackling the rest of this and you guys will see it at some point. I am not able to say like, I can drop a video every Sunday, every Saturday, every Thursday. Like I can't do that, seriously. I have to do it when I can. Um, also, I have to record early in the morning or late at night because it gets really hot here in Vegas and if the AC is running, then you won't be able to hear me. The sound is really, really bad. So um, yeah, I have to do this early in the morning and this morning I had to get up and like beat my face because I was like inside crazy. Anyway, um, I am going to finish tackling this bedroom and here's a couple of uh, sneak peeks of the bathroom for you. Okay guys, let's not forget where we started. Now, granted, things looked decent enough, but it's just not my style. These cabinets were outdated and I removed that medicine cabinet, it's awful. But I was able to repurpose the actual cabinet that is there. And I'll do a video on that later on to show you what I did and how I did it. So um, what you see is actually the same vanity. I redid the door because I'm not a six panel girl. I'm more of a mid-century modern, modern contemporary girl like this. I like clean lines and like the faucet you guys helped me pick out and I can't wait for the shower to get finished. It's gonna be so nice. I have gotten a lot done though. Um, the front of the house is almost completely done. There's just like a couple little minor things 
that I need to do but the problem is whenever I try to film since I'm working on another part of the house there's always like tools and and materials and all kinds of stuff like just in the way and so it's hard for me to just film when you know one side of the wall looks like oh my god what's going on over there and then the rest of it looks really nice and it's like oh look at me but um so yeah i just want to be able to get it all done have my tools back in the storage units where they belong and then that way i can just like do a full walkthrough but in the meantime i have been giving you guys a couple little tidbits showing you bits and pieces so if you follow me on instagram you can see my reels i do drop those a little bit more often than youtube videos but bear with me guys so co-stars there's a couple different things that i want to do um but obviously when i only have my handyman like a couple days out of the week i also still have to work because this channel does not pay for anything and trust me i said i was going to be renovating i never said that it was going to be cheap um i do look for bargains i'm really good at um finding things either in auction or thrifting i love to thrift um but at the same time i have um i don't want to say expensive taste but I do like things to look more high-end so yeah it's taken some time and some materials some things that I want are not always available for an RV so I have to take my time to really search for things but it's getting there yeah, so next is to take that out all this ugly window treatment all of that stuff but here's my new mattress I love it um, I may be sleeping on the floor tonight. <laughs> I don't care. I am going to commence to ripping out the rest of this stuff. But I wanted to throw a video out there for you guys because my problem is, you know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I'm a type A personality and therefore I want everything to be done right. Every day, everything. All right, co-stars, if you made it this far into the video, troopers, thank you so much. I appreciate you helping me build this channel. I cannot do it without my co-stars, so thank you. Make sure you leave your comments below. Give me a shout. Let me know you're a co-star, you're following, you're liking, you're subscribing, you're sharing, all of that stuff. You know, I'm just trying to get it going. Like I said before, once I get these watch hours up, then I'll be able to do more because I can monetize my page. Right now, it's just a page. But at any rate, this video, doing it, editing, all of this has taken me close to three hours and I need to get my back to work. All right, I am not happy. I had to jump back in here and do another video just because i wanted you to know the first video that i did the one you just saw is not the first video i did i did another video and for some reason it would not save to my phone so i had to turn around and send everything to my mac and then re-edit the video so to be completely honest with you this has taken me pretty much all day and now I have to upload and that should be fun. So anyway, not three hours at all, a lot more. So in the meantime, have a great day. Don't forget, give me a shout just to say hey. And um, I love you. Thank you. Bye.